Hey everyone, so we need to talk. This is the hardest video that I'm ever going to film in my whole entire life and especially my career of doing social media. This video isn't clickbait, the title, the thumbnail, it's all absolutely legit and I feel like I have to hone in on that fact because I know I've been known to make narrative style content since the inception of my channel but this isn't narrative and has nothing to do with narrative. This is something that I've struggled with since a very young age and I feel like it's time that I finally open up with you guys and just be honest with all of you. So yes, in this video today I am coming out as transgender and I know that might come as a shock to some of you and you know also some of you might be wondering what does that mean exactly so I'm gonna explain it and explain how I've always felt my whole entire life in this video. So since I was about like three or four I always knew something wasn't right you know and my gender identity was something I've always struggled with since I was very, very young. And so like when I was three or four, there was just some things I was like, this doesn't feel right, you know? And as I got older, you know, I realized like, hey, something definitely doesn't feel right. So I came out to my mom probably when I was in like sixth, seventh grade and then did so a few different times as well. And she basically told me, let's wait till you're an adult to make a decision like that, which, you know, I respect that. In hindsight, though, like, I wish I could have gone back and done this a lot earlier in my life, but things happen uh, the, the way they should in life. And because of this, and it was something that I've always dealt with since a very young age, it's always led to me to always just being depressed and extremely miserable, and at times... There was times in my life that I wanted to take my own life because I felt like like I just don't fit in. And there's times where that feeling of wanting to take my own life were so extreme that I was in such a dark place. Like I didn't want to do anything, uh, especially as I got older. Like I didn't want to make content. I didn't want to like go out, hang out with friends because like I just didn't feel like myself whatsoever. And there was points where I was extremely extremely close to taking my own life but I realized it wouldn't be fair to my family had I taken my own life because of something that I've just always struggled with. So in 2019 I came back out again to my mom and you know we were coming home for a concert and I just said hey so you know how I've always been dealing with this and she was like yeah and we talked and from that point of August 2019, it was just more of a, how am I going to go about this? How am I going to transition? How am I going to actually finally feel free and be happy in my own skin and even in my own life? So from the end of 2019 and all of 2020, for me, it's just like time to prep and figure things out and figure how am I going to transition? How am I finally going to be happy as myself? So I basically just took the time and the due diligence and did my research and figured out a plan on how I would be able to transition, which would then lead me to January 5th, 2021. Uh, it was the day I got prescribed from my doctor, estrogen and spirolactone. Uh, there's screenshots here on the screen of my prescription, minus blurs on some important stuff. Uh, so no big say, uh, whatever, say it's fake. Um, like this is my actual prescription I've been on since January, besides like the amounts, everything has changed. Um, it's gone up in dosages. But since January, I've been on HRT, and a lot of you have noticed changes over the last few months, especially when my hair was a lot longer. But I kind of went through a little mental breakdown at that time. Some things had happened, and I just said, screw it, let's just shave my head. And the moment, you know, I was going like this in that video, um, I knew how much of a mistake it was just shaving my head, but I was already so deep and committed to that video that like, as soon as I was going like that, it was just like, well, I gotta grow my hair back out. So yeah, that for me was a very painful moment back in October, as why you could probably tell how I genuinely felt in that video. But yeah, since being on hormone replacement therapy, honestly, I've been a lot happier. I haven't been depressed. I haven't been miserable. Like, 
I genuinely enjoy living life and, you know, I haven't thought about taking my own life in almost over a year now, which to me is probably the biggest win out of everything. I feel like I'm finally on my right path here in my life and to be honest, <laughs> I'm just a lot happier now. On top of that, you guys might be wondering, so like Swift, um, what's all this mean? So you're transitioning from a guy to obviously a girl. Um, have you decided on any kind of new names? And uh, yes, by the way, you guys can always still call me Swift. Swift has always been like my nickname for a long time. So to me, that's absolutely fine. But the, the new name, that I am in the process of legally changing my name to is Emily. So you guys can either call me Swift, M-E-M, -E or Emily. Um, also along with like the she, her pronouns. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this has been like a very hard video to film because like I genuinely don't know what to say, uh, especially because I tried filming this video back in June, so almost six months ago. Let me just roll a clip of that. And there's always been quite a few different times in my life where I've been very, very suicidal and heavily thinking about taking my own life. And I always thought like, yo, that wouldn't be fair to everybody else. Even though I'd see it as like, everything I'm going through is over, I'd be putting that pain onto somebody else. And, um, which wouldn't be fair for my family or friends. Cause I better tell myself if I didn't transition before my 25th birthday coming up, I'd probably kill myself. <laughs> Deep down, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to be happy for once. I just genuinely be me. <laughs> and I started thinking about what I need to do just to be me. So, I, the ball and the plan just started getting rolling and um, I, I figured out a plan and I've been transitioning since January medically and honestly, I've never been as happy as I am now in my life ever before. So yeah, it's been a long time coming with me coming out and I picked today, December 19th because 19 is always a good number and we're almost to the one year mark of me transitioning and I felt like it was finally time for me to publicly come out and say like hey this is what I've been dealing with and this is how I am going to live my life moving forward so I can be happy and no longer miserable and you know no longer thinking about always wanting to take my life like for me not having to think about that in the last like year mentally has been the biggest win you know I'm finally becoming myself I'm finally becoming so much more happier with who I am loving myself and life is genuinely good so with all that being said I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video it hasn't been easy for me at all to to make I've literally tried making this video the last few days and my camera would keep dying because I just, I'd keep starting and stopping because I just, I don't know how else to put it out there, you know? For all my friends and family, I just want to say thank you first off for those that have known and have supported me. Um, I genuinely appreciate that and just thank you. Thank you so much for your love and support. It literally has helped me so much in the past year with everything and also I just want to say I'm probably not going to be by my phone or computer or on social media for the next few hours. Um, my phone's probably just going to be on do not serve for the rest of the day and probably the next few days but um, if you try reaching out just leave me a message for those that I haven't told yet uh, if this is your way of finding out but I figured this is like the easiest way for me just to put it out there because this is the platform and means that I always use to just communicate with people in general. But I just want to say once again, thank you so much to my friends and family for their love and support throughout this whole entire time. Um, it's absolutely meant a lot to me and it's 
helped me out a lot and um, just thank you. One last thing I wanna say before I close this video off, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, so what's the plan with changing your handles on all the social medias? Um, that's all gonna be done very, very soon, except for Twitter. I have to keep the handle at Jeff Saxon Vlogs for now. Uh, so I don't lose my verification. I have to wait till my name is fully legally changed to then show my new ID to then be able to change my username and then get re-verified. Um, it's a pain, you know, but um, it is what it is. It's a part of life. So just got to deal with it for now. But over the coming days and weeks, my usernames will be changed on all of my social media platforms to match the name that I am legally going with moving forward. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys understand. And with that being said, it's been Swift keeping it real. I'm, uh, I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. And well, I'll see you guys in the future.